And welcome back to the Spinner Rack, Breaking the Fourth Wall, presented by Comics Remixed, episode 54. I actually remember the episode number this week. As always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Evans, joining my co-host. Junior Reeves. Get it on, son. No. So, <laughs> man, I didn't mean like that. You ain't gotta be perverted now, Captain America. Uh, straight out the gate, I just want to call the book who joined us last week a dick. Because I woke up this morning and I got excited about the fact that we might have our first, I guess, he's not black though. He's mixed. He's mixed. Yes. He's Puerto Rican and black, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, we would have our first non-white Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic U. Now this is something Chris Bookout posted on his page this morning. Got me super stoked. I'm like, oh my god, I have something to talk about this morning. And then I went to search for it. Not a single thing to support that and then I called him out on it and then he tagged me in the article and then I clicked on the article and no it's not happening of course this is what I get for taking my comic book news movie news from a guy that didn't know that the guy that played kick-ass was the guy that played Quicksilver Quicksilver yeah thanks book out and uh but Spider-Man Miles Morales, obviously, we all knew he was going to get a book after Secret Wars. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be the only Spider-Man. Obviously, Peter Parker will still have Amazing Spider-Man, so this will just be a secondary title. I'll read it. I liked it before. I still like it. It's a good character. I would have been cool to see him in the movie. Do you think he would have worked in a movie? Um, maybe later on. Not right away, because you know the expectations are high for finally bringing Spider-Man into the Marvel U, or cinematic U. So, I I would say later on, like as a successor or something like that, or maybe introduce him and have two running around, but just not as a debut or. Or maybe they could kill Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, because this is the Marvel Cinematic U. It's not like comic books, so they can do what they want to do. Yeah, I know, but I mean. With fanboy, we were aching for this, you know, for years. Yeah, no, I've been, I've been dying to see you a know. Marvel take, an actual Marvel Studios take on Spider-Man. Yeah, so you know, no, it's. I it's, mean, I the only reason I bring it up is because I feel like at the at the same time, I feel like we're gonna get that with Captain America now that Civil War's coming. Yeah, I feel like maybe post credit scene if it doesn't happen at the end, they're gonna give us a Captain America death, just to give us Bucky as Captain America or possibly Falcon. In the next movie, I would have to say more so Bucky, only because it seems like people are starting to grow on Anthony Mackie as the Falcon. Yeah, you know, like it just fits him for some reason. So you don't feel like people would be in that like ready to embrace him as being Falcon, as being Falcon, or being I mean, Captain as being America. Captain America. Not yet, just because it's like, well, the obvious choice is Bucky, right? You know, so. No, I would I would have to agree that like the the obvious choice would definitely be to go ahead and have Bucky fill that role, which I think it will happen because I mean just budget restraints, like how much can you continue to up what you pay these guys? Because I mean that's how acting works. We all know this. When you make a movie and it's a, it's a you know a record breaking franchise, it costs more money to get you back for the next movie and the next movie and the next movie. Yeah. So eventually, I mean, I think we'll see a Captain America film that doesn't have Steve. But you don't believe that there's a possibility that, I mean, 10 years down the road, we could see them do a Peter Parker movie where Peter Parker dies and Miles takes his place? Yeah. You don't think that'll happen? Anything can happen, but we'll see. Then again, if they're going to invest the time and the money into finding a young actor uh -huh. to play Peter and you know you grow with him, then I don't see that happening. No. No. Which, is, that seems to be what they're doing, so I mean, that would, that would work for me. Um... There's still rumors swirling around Hugh Jackman and his final Wolverine film. Uh -huh. Now they're saying that it's going to be take based on Civil War. Is this even possible? Uh, Civil War. Did Man I say Logan. Civil War? Yeah, I mean, that's oh, why I'm looking at you. Man, right? I'm just like, you know what? I mean, I'm so focused right now on not trying to swear <laughs> that I'm confusing what I'm talking about. Old Man Logan. Is it even possible for them to pull off Old Man Logan... Being that, what, that's, is that Sony? It just got posted right now. What's that? The Miles Morales as Spider-Man in the new series. Oh, 
So now everyone in the world, because the internet's exploding with Miles Morales as the new Spider-Man, everyone thinks it's a movie. Jesus, jerks, book out, you dick. I was seriously like, wow, man, that's that's crazy. But anyway, Hugh Jackman, Old Man Logan, can they pull it off? Um, the, obviously there'd have to be some drastic changes, you know, like the Hulk baby. Right. So. I think. I would say no, absolutely not. Unless they are going to take and pick apart the X-Men franchise so much that they find characters within the X-Men franchise to place into the roles that they can't replace. that they can't use Marvel yeah. characters for. Like I really feel like if this is a cuz I said before that I look forward to the day that they got done trying to pound who these characters are into the cultural uh collective and that they just started making the crazy just the, the awesome yeah. movies the epic stories right 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 and I even mentioned Old Man Logan mm-hmm. so I mean what are they going to do like make it be a bunch of beasts since they've kind of made beasts like the Hulk yeah. kind of I mean can that, is it is it even worth doing if you can't properly do it I would say no I've always been a firm believer of that like, if you're not going to do something the right way, don't do it. I mean, now, I can see small tweaks here and there. Is that Fox but, that owns X-Men? Yeah. Okay. So, why can't Fox just pull a Sony for one movie and just come to an agreement, okay, this is Jackman, who will probably be remembered as the greatest Wolverine. They won't, man. Because if I they mean, were going to, they would have already. Well, I they mean... They would have did just, it with Fantastic Four. Just one movie. No, they Just won't. one movie. They won't. No. No. But I don't. I just don't see this movie happening. I don't see it working if it does happen. Um, I like Hugh Jackman, but there's way, way too much ingrained in the mythology of the Marvel universe for that story to work just using the X Men corner. Right. Yeah. No. I, I mean, and even well, Fox owns Fantastic Four too, right? Yeah. So okay, with those two, because that's not enough. That's not enough. I mean, because what you've got Red Skulls, pretty much the the main antagonist of that or would it be the Hulks the redneck Hulks it's, it's kind of a tie mm. but then I mean because you've got everybody you've got Spider-Man you've got, first of all you got Hawkeye and they're cruising around in the spider buggy it's right automatically right out the gate it doesn't work yeah actually right out the gate Hulks show up it does not work so if they make that movie I don't even know if I want to see it because that's one of my favorite favorite all-time Wolverine stories. There's no way it's going to work. Moving on. Suicide Squad. Again? Like, yeah. every episode? Uh, every other episode. You know, they, they... It's just, hey, man, it is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. I know that we have been very vocal on this show about how we don't care about that movie and that it looks like crap. And it, it, it still... I mean, this really doesn't change things for me. I'm just giving my opinion on what I hear. And apparently there's rumors that Scott Eastwood, and this is another thing that I think the book is going to be excited to hear us talk about, yeah, but Scott he, he, Eastwood. He was talking my ear off about it yesterday in the car. Was he? Yeah. Is reportedly, possibly, going to be Deathstroke, Slade Wilson, in Suicide Squad. I guess there's pictures coming out of him in a costume with a name tag that says Elsa Wilson. But then I've also heard that it's possibly that he might be uh, Steve Trevor in the Wonder Woman woman movie. So it might just be one of those. But I mean, I think we know, like one of those wag the dog kind of things where they're trying to do one thing, but they're really doing this and they don't want you to know that. So I think the Steve Trevor thing could just be a lie. Because I've also heard that Chris Pine is up for that role. Captain Kirk from the new Star Trek movies. Yeah. Um, my, I mean, my thoughts on that, no, I don't want to see Deathstroke in a Suicide Squad movie in any way, shape, or form. No? There's already too much going on in the Suicide Squad movie. You've got the team itself. You've got to break down these characters, give them some screen. You know Will Smith's going to get a lot of screen time. Right, You right. know Harley's going to get a lot of screen time. But then you also introducing Jared Leto. He's getting to get screen time. And then Ben Affleck as Batman is in the movie. Really? 
Yeah, remember those? You haven't seen those leaked scenes where the Batmobile is chasing the Joker throughout the street? Okay, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. But I didn't know that they were going to actually, like... Well, so why he's would got, you like, have a, a Batmobile chasing the Joker in a Suicide Squad movie and not have Batman? I figured up. it could just be, like, background, you know? Nah. Um, so, I mean, there's already so much going on. Do you really need to really, like, weigh this movie down? Yeah, I don't think so. I think the the movie's got just... There's too much just crap associated with this movie for me just going out the gate. Going out the gate, there's too much bad. Those fir- those set photos of the Joker that they revealed, and then they came back and they said, oh, no, that was just promo stuff. Yeah, like those tattoos were just CGI on yeah. there. They're not real. And right. then when you see the leaked footage of him and Harley, you can clearly see the tattoos still on them. And it looks just so dumb. So dumb. And then, oh, Common's going to be in the film also as the tattooed man. So an already overcrowded movie is getting even more crowded. And then I mean, common fans will know what that is. I've uh, I've talked to book. Yeah, if they, it was that was so low. I don't. They're gonna have to turn their radios up since we've adjusted you know our recording is? volume. No, because I'm not a fan of common. You never heard the song "The Light." No. There's, he's writing a letter to the girl, and he's like, as he's writing the letter, he's like, da 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 Yo, I'll tell you the rest when I see you. And then the chorus comes in. Like, if I was a woman and a man was giving me a letter like that, and I was reading it, like, you know, blah, 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 you are this, you are that. And then I see the last few lines going, I'd be like, what? Yeah, seriously. But, you know, That's like some of the writing and comic books I've read recently. But you know what? It is actually one of the greatest songs in my opinion it's like easily one of my top 10 songs ever it's just a great song okay that's awesome but you know what as far as Common goes um, he's he's one of those musicians that have actually transitioned over to film very well yeah I was going to say I actually like some of the roles I've seen him in you know he's a uh, Hell on Wheels I think is the name of the mm-hmm. show That's a he plays a good role in there um, he was in Wanted wasn't he he was not Wanted yeah, I mean, Common's a, he's a pretty damn good actor. Yeah, he's not bad. He doesn't he doesn't bother me. Um, you remember the the rumors of him being Green Lantern way back? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't have had an issue with that, man. I wouldn't have had an issue with him as Green Lantern at all. I wouldn't have an issue with... Okay, that's a complete and total lie. Because I still want to see Hal Jordan get a decent friggin' movie yeah. before they move on to any other Green Lantern characters. But there's absolutely no reason why they couldn't do a Green Lantern movie and have all those characters in it. I agree. I mean, if they're going to full, fully load the deck with Suicide Squad, they could do it with Green Lantern, except it could be better. Yeah. As long as they don't go the Brian Reynolds route of Green Lantern, which was, I mean, all right, who in their right mind takes a, a superhero that's an intergalactic cop and makes a movie and puts 90% of it on Earth? Yeah. Why do you do true. that? And then why do you take what in my what in my opinion is one of the coolest character designs and parallax and turn it to into a big amorphous blob? Yeah. Like what the hell? Well, they took a cue out of Fox when Fox made Galactus a cloud. Well, I, I, that kind of made sense to me. Only because you're looking at the ultimate. Because version, the right? ultimate version, like yeah. The swarm. The swarm. So it was kind of yeah, but yeah. But I mean, though, honestly, go, not like Galactus is the greatest character design ever. Would a big, you know, huge planet-eating being in purple and blue have not just come out really goofy? Yeah. I mean, they could have changed it made the colors. Same design, but just different colors. Maybe all black or something. I mean, it would have been interesting to see. It would have been better than this, you know... Thuggalo Joker that we're gonna get, <laughs> but still no excitement for Suicide Squad. Although I really think that when it comes out, we should just drag our butts down to the theater and see it anyway, yeah. so we can give it just a freaking horrible review that I'm gonna have to beep the hell out of because I know I'm gonna it's gonna be just near impossible for me not to swear when I see that atrocious piece of trash. I'm positive. Suicide Squad, suck it. <laughs> Plus, you know what? Manu Bennett, dude. Like, I, I think I was talking to Book Out about this the other day. I don't understand why, and I think we've talked about it here before. Maybe we've talked about it pre-show. I don't know if we've actually talked about it in the show. If we have, 
I apologize for the redundancy. I don't understand why DC doesn't just take what they've built on TV we've, and use yes. some of those characters in movies. We've, we've covered this. Because Manu Bennett kicks ass, dude. I mean, the whole shadow thing, which I swear to, if I can find before I, I put the show up tonight, like uh, a, a video of him, like a clip of him saying shadow over and over, like for 30 seconds, insert here. If not, well, then it didn't happen. Well, because he says it a lot. I mean, we were talking about how, like, that guy's main driving force on Arrow was Shadow. Yeah. And it's kind of like how, I don't know if you've ever seen those videos of from True Blood, no. where the vampire Bill has said Sookie. So they have these videos where he's like, Sookie, Sookie, Sookie. And it's just like a minute of him just saying Sookie. <laughs> or, uh, or, or Walking Dead, Rick. Carl, Carl, you know, it's, people are weird like that, but whatever. I'm, I'm just not interested in this movie at all. Yeah, I can tell. Suicide Squad. <clears throat> I like the comic book. The movie looks like crap. If they had put King Shark in it, dude, if there had been a big, huge, half-man, half-shark dude in it, I would be stoked. But clearly, Warner Brothers has no balls. Moving on. Without balls. That's what With, Warner Brothers stands for. Yeah. We have more without balls. Two animated feature is coming out. Okay. I, I, I figured we need to talk about this because we don't spend enough time talking about indie, indie stuff. Right. I feel like we're so focused on the big two that the indies kind of get slipped over by us. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, let's talk about Chew. Let's do it. Have you ever read Chew? No. Me neither. I know. I know the main character's name is Tony Chew. I know that he's a detective. I know that he eats pieces of necrotic flesh and then like has almost like eye zombie visions of what happens yeah so that's like, that's, get, the, like, that's the gist right helps them solve uh their murder and stuff like that wow so i've just we've just had a revelation on this show i zombie the tv show is pretty much a mashup of i zombie and chew because in the comic book i zombie you read i zombie did you read it? I have the full run, but I've never read it. Okay. I don't remember her ever really eating brains and then having people's memories. And then, like, I remember it being, like, ghosts of people. Okay. And then something happened in their lives that was, like, traumatic, and they couldn't rest. So, like, after she ate their brains, then she would go help them. Whereas I Zombie TV show is pretty much like Chew, hmm. where she eats someone's brains and it helps her solve a murder. Um... I mean, it's an interesting concept, Chew. I think at the time when it came out, I was kind of anti, like, independence. Like, comic books have become so crappy in the world of the big two that I think it's forced a lot of us longtime readers to look other outside for other stuff. And the independent world of comic books has provided a lot of good material. Oh, yeah. Hands down. And uh, this is just something that at the time, like, didn't really interest me. I'm really weird about art style sometimes. Sometimes other stuff just turns me off. I didn't care for the art style on it when it first came out. But anyway, animated feature, I'll definitely check it out. But uh, uh, what info do we have on the animated feature? Uh, we have that Steven Union will be Chew. Okay. <clears throat> and that uh, David Tennant will be portraying Mason Savoy. Okay. A burly, side-wheeling former FDA agent and primate, primary opponent of series lead Tony Chu. Hmm. Um, curiously enough, this character was originally to be voiced by the late Robin Williams. Ah. So Do we know what studio is producing it? Is it straight to DVD? Is it in theater? Ooh, that's a lot of questions I don't have answers to. <laughs> um, it's going to be a direct adaptation of the first trade. Uh, yada, yada, yada. You know, David Tennant, David Tennant, David Tennant, because, you know, everybody loves that guy. <laughs> oh, Felicia Day is uh, going to be Amelia Mintz. I don't know who that is because I read the book. Okay. I've got nothing on, nothing on who's producing it. Gotcha. Um, I'm sure it'll be straight to DVD. I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't see that as being something that would, uh, would make it into... Theater. A theater. Concern. I mean, how how well do animated features really do in theaters anyway? 
Not very if it's not a Disney movie. Yeah, if it's not Disney esque. Because How to Train Your Dragon was very successful. That wasn't yeah, Disney. DreamWorks. Yeah. Pixar, which isn't Pixar owned by Disney now. Yeah. Anyway. So, I mean, it'll, I'll check it out. It's, you know, it's anything they do animated that's based on a comic book, I'm open to checking out unless it's Wildcats. That was Wildcats. Wildcats? Jim Lee? Oh, Wildcats. Okay. okay. <laughs> I sure as hell ain't talking about that Goldie Hawn movie from the 80s. Dude, I'm like. I think that's what that was called. Anyway. My mind is everywhere right now. Are should you be, it should be here. Yeah, it should be here. I should be slapping you the F around. Well, BotCon is going on right now. Ooh, you, you want to talk a little bit about BotCon? BotCon? No, because I'm not there, so I don't know what to... It's like five It's like five blocks. Not even five. It's like, let's see, where are we at? Where's Pheasant Run from here? It's like Yeah, less than ten minutes away. Oh, it's It's up by Walmart. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, that's where BotCon is. It's across the street from Pheasant Run. It's like a hop, skip, and a jump from here. It's across the street from Pheasant Run? Yeah, and that, that expo center. Oh, okay. It's, I thought that was at Pheasant Run. It's on the same side of the street. Yeah, well, right, whatever. It's whatever. Right you know where Right it's. next door. Yeah. Right on. I'm debating if I want to go or You're not. You're debating? Because, you know, you want to go spend money on I stuff. don't have money to spend. I just want to go. Oh, really? See, I'm the type of person that I'm not really into going to look at stuff that I would be interested in buying unless I have money to buy something. I mean, we got a couple bucks, but... Like, I don't want to go to a comic book convention... Unless, like, I got a couple hundred dollars to blow. Right. No, I, At least. I mean, I got, I got money. I just don't know if I want to use it, you know? But I won't know unless I go. And it's 25 bucks to get in. So if I get in, pay 25 bucks, and I don't buy anything, then I'm out 25 bucks. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. Me and you talked about that before. Yeah. Do you really want to pay money to go into a convention and not get anything? Yeah. And then I almost feel like when you go to conventions, you have to factor in the cost to get into the convention into the deals you get during today, the day to make sure that it was ultimately worth even going. Right. I don't know, man. Alex hasn't texted me yet. No. So he hasn't given you the... Our toy reviewer hasn't given you the okay Unless go. he's just like in Candyland over right. there right he's now. He's drooling. So, yeah. Like he's on a, a, a fat dose of uh, Thorazine. Moving on. Man, it's you know. No, no, I'm just let's move on. It's not like I'm I'm telling people to go shoot up heroin. No, 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 I didn't even it was just look at it that way. Okay, I'm just like I was just clarifying because there's a lot of rambling. Oh yeah, that's okay. We had a little bit of time to kill, so it's all right. Let's go. What we can ramble a little bit. It's when when there's weeks like this, where, where like the episode is 95 percent you, and I'm just in there ad yeah, living. It's <laughs> it's yeah, rambling's gonna happen. Uh, more independent news. Dark Horse, probably by the time this airs. Yeah, actually, because, yeah, two days from when we record. No, don't start that again, man. <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do to I you, I think man. we should just, like, eliminate all time Yeah, uh, we shouldn't talk about time it, on this cause it, show. Because it scares you? Not that it scares me. It's just, like, dude, it gets redundant, and it's, it's, it's confusing as hell. And it's just like, dude, just talk. Well, anyway, by the time this airs, Dark Horse will be on Comixology. Really? Yeah. Well, kudos to Dark Horse. Um, it's taken them a while because I guess they have pretty much focused on Dark Horse Digital on their own platform. Yeah. But they're finally coming to Comixology. Nice. Which is good for people that use Comixology. Yeah. I find that funny. I remember a few years ago people saying, oh, Comixology won't be around in five years. But it's probably the biggest supplier of digital media at the point, at this yeah. point, right? I mean, Marvel does their own thing. Yeah. DC does their own thing. Obviously, Dark Horse. I don't know if Image does. Yeah, Image goes through comics. Obviously. I think, well, I meant their own platform. Oh, I don't know. I think Image pretty much was one of the earlier supporters of comic comicsology and that everything's there. Right. Um, I wouldn't even know where, like, if I was going to go with, like, a, a digital subscriber, I wouldn't, that's probably who I would use. That or Marvel Unlimited that I hear good things about, but I hear that things aren't new. But I mean, for yes $10 no, a month. I had a Marvel subscription once. Yeah. Because I wanted the Marvel Universe Archangel figure. Yeah. And that's the only way you can do it is you sign up for a year. So I did it, and the one thing I didn't like about it was I would go in there, like, I wanted to read Maximum Carnage. I was like, you know what? Yeah. And I look, and they would be missing, like, parts five and, like, nine. I'm like, so well, it's not the full that? set. And then, like, Age of Apocalypse, they'd be missing this and that. Like, it was, I, everything I personally wanted to read, they didn't have on there complete. They were always missing an issue or two. 
well, that's not good. Yeah, exactly. So I was just like, whatever. Like, I, I almost checked them out because they did, like, a free thing for the first month. Yeah. To see if I would be interested, and I just didn't. But uh, based on that right there, yeah. that would just I mean, that was a while back. Off, but yeah, I was just like, well, how am I supposed to read, you know? And I was using Asshole of that so I can catch up on stuff that I wasn't buying or physically reading. Right. I was like, you know what? I could just check this out. I might as well. It's on my subscription. I'm paying for it. And just never did. That's like being at the comic book store and seeing a run of a storyline that you haven't want, you've been interested in reading but you haven't and it's like I'm going to pick this up and you get parts 1 through 5 and 8 comes out next week but you can't find 6 and they have 7. Right. And it's like okay so do I buy these 6 comic books and then run around yeah. to 100 different stores and try and find the one I don't have? Yeah, yeah. Which I did with Planet Hulk and still to this day I'm missing a freaking issue. Nice. And it ended up being one of the most expensive issues to get. Which one? I don't remember now. I'm throw that run on eBay and just get rid of it. <laughs> I have it in graphic novels. I don't care anymore. Um, Star Wars. The Wars. Star Wars Rebels returns to Disney XD. I don't right. know if you've ever watched. Dude, great Star Wars show. I wasn't really a fan of the Clone Wars show. I'm kind of watching it on Netflix right now. Um, dude, it's awesome. It was a good first season. The second season, the premiere was just Saturday. Darth Vader, all up in it, hardcore. Yeah. And voiced by James Earl Jones. No way. Yes. Nice. Like, hardcore. Like, dude, one of the best representations of Vader I have ever seen in any format. Nice. Like, he was just hardcore. Like, uh, And I think you, you know, you're allowed to go a little further with, with animation and what you can do and what you can, you know what I mean? They've never shown, at least in the, well, he was only in the original trilogy, he never really got, like, you know, to see the full scope of his power. Would you count that as well in comics? Oh, no, I wouldn't say in comics, okay. no. Because in comics, you would always... Yeah, comics, you can get crazy. I'm talking about, like, TV or film. Gotcha. Um, also, speaking of Star Wars, the Force Awakens trailer, second trailer hit YouTube, 24 hours, set Guinness records. When did it hit? I have no idea. I didn't even know it came out. Me neither. So I was like, oh, wow, the second trailer for... I didn't even watch it. I just know that it set Guinness World Records. I was like, well, that's pretty awesome. The one I've seen is... April 16th. It debuted April 16th, so earlier last year. Oh, then we have seen it. It's probably the one where they show the three... The guy who pulls out the lightsaber has got the three prongs to it. Yeah, because... Otherwise, if it was a new trailer... It would have been all over Facebook. That's what I would think, too. Because the previous trailer, the first one, was just that teaser, remember? It's, yeah, we talked about it's this. It's the official second trailer. Now, well, okay, you know what? I'm going to blame this one on CBR. Okay. Comic Book Resources. Friday, June 19th, to post a story about a trailer that came out in April, breaking records in a 24-hour period. <laughs> you for making me look stupid. It sounds like when you have all these interviews that you claim you have and you sit on them for months, just, just what's the point? You release them all late. You know? Yeah, no, that's ridiculous. And then why would you, why would you, this is something I don't understand. Why would you record interviews and then, like, dictate them? Or that's not word, that's not correct. No, you dictate the interviews and write them out. I can see that, though, because I've actually been thinking about doing some of that. Really? Yeah, just to give the site more more content. I know? mean, I guess. Depends on what the interview I is. I mean... It, and, then, like, also, if we record an interview and it, like, a video and it doesn't look good. Well, that makes you know sense. I mean? Or if you record, like, audio and the audio sounds like or something. Yeah. I guess that would make a limited amount of sense, I guess. But yeah. to sit on, quote, unquote, hundreds of interviews... And not do anything with them? Man. More like 30 to 40. 30 to 40. <laughs> that, that was the quote. Not the quote was 30 to 40? 30 to 40. So I, I inflated the quote a little bit? Yeah. But, so, yeah, that's... Come on, man. That's... Come on. Why you gotta just put it out there? You know, content is king, right? Indeed it is. And uh, finally, Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is still happening, I guess. I know Book Out talked your ear about it. You guys no, talk it was, about we talked about it in the car yesterday. It was just Deathstroke that he talked your ear about, huh? 
So anyway, apparently this is still happening. I think maybe on this show. Uh, see, man, I, I forget sometimes what we talk about and the conversations me and my cousin have. Because me and my cousins have pretty similar conversations. And I bet his ass doesn't even listen to this show. F you, David. You should listen to my show. <laughs> yeah. Ghostbusters, they were doing the all-female, and then they were doing something with, like, Channing Tating at the time. Right. And they were saying that they weren't going to be, they were going to cross over or something. And then I had read that, like, they were just like, all right, screw this, F it, we're not going to do it at all. Yeah. And now set photos have been Chris Helmsworth dropped. Thor is uh, playing the male counterpart of Janine. What? Yeah. Chris Helmsworth. Yes. Wow. Yep. Wow. Yep. The, the counterpart, that's kind of like a... Because they switched, you know, gender roles. I've yeah, no, I understand women, that, so. but why wouldn't they get, like, a nerdy... Man, I don't even know how to, like... T- to me, I think women win over that. If you get, oh, we got Janine, you you chicks got Chris Helmworth, they clearly won. Yeah. Because Janine, I mean, nothing against Annie Potts, wasn't like a hot sex symbol. Right. So, unfair, man. So those women that feel like... We, it's bridesmaids all over again. Yeah, that's what I hear, but I hear that it doesn't have that tone at all. I, Dan Aykroyd even came out and said that, like, it's going to be faithful to the, the ideas and the, the feel of the original. So, I mean, we'll wait and see. I'll go see it when it comes out. Well, the plot goes... I, I don't know which character it is, but one of them wrote a book about ghosts. And, um, like, years later, they get accepted to come up Columbia U as teachers the way that the, the original cast was and then how the original cast got fired. But in this one, they get accepted. They're teachers or whatever. And then the tr- the, the book is revealed. You know, it's revealed that, this, that she wrote the book years ago and then she gets laughed out of the academy. Or whatever, and then from there, ghosts start popping up, and then they start taking on the ghosts to prove, you know, hey, I was right, we laughed at her, and we're stupid for laughing at her, kind of thing. I mean, it could work, man. All those, no, it could. All the ladies that are in that movie are funny. McCarthy's funny. Uh, the SNL girls are funny. I'm like Kristen Wiig. I like her. She could be serious. We'll see, man. It's you know. It's definitely a renter. You're just nodding your head. You can't nod your head, man. No, you I'm can't nodding your head. head. Doesn't deserve anything for me if, to speak there, on. There you go. Then, for, thank you for verbalizing that. <laughs> Until next week, when we come back for episode fifty-six and or, sorry, fifty-five, and more Junior shaking and nodding his head and not speaking on a podcast because he's too <laughs> used to having a camera on him. There ain't no camera here. It's just me and you, a laptop and a microphone. Get with the program. After 54 issues. Episodes. episodes. Jeez. I, that's the first time I've called the issues in a while. No, you did it last week. Did I do it last week? Well, that was a hard habit to break. As in the beginning, when we were trying to push the issue thing, you kept calling it episodes. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times we had to like redo because <laughs> you were saying it wrong. Yeah. But uh, you got anything to add before we close the show off the week? Um, same as always. Check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, at Comics Remixed. Um, still working on the website. I'm disappointed in myself. I set my alarm last night to work on it. Friday, didn't slept. work on it. Saturday, didn't work on it. Woke up this morning at 6.55. Rolled over. Just one of those things where you just kind of roll over and you're automatically awake. Right, right. And instantly, I was just like, I'm working on the website. So I worked on the website till about 9 a.m. this morning. Didn't really do much. It was more of my computer just running really, really slow. Nice. But I started... Adding a little bit more to it, so. so it's work. It's a work in progress. Yeah, like I said last time, um, I hope it to be up and running by the end of September. By the end of summer, so right on. Uh, Comics remixed. Brian Junior Alex at Comics remixed. You can email us all. Yes, um, we try um, and check them. Somebody emailed me and asked me a question about some wrestling stuff that you referred me to, and it was from two months ago, and I just saw it. If you listen to the show, I apologize. Um. Yeah, uh, in about two, three weeks, we're going to start having some interviews with uh, indie creators and stuff like that. So if you're within earshot of this and you want to be on the show, uh, we promise it wouldn't be as boring as this episode probably turned out to be. But, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, send us your uh, some sample work so we can look over and uh, we kind of get an idea of uh, what we're going to talk about. 
you know. Uh, we've got one. He, I won't mention who he is right now. Um, he sent us some, some sample work. I was reading it this morning. Um, contrary to what you were saying, I kind of get what he was doing with it. I still have questions, but I, I get it. Well, we could talk about that later. Yeah, yeah. So, I think, um, I think next episode I'm going to have to buy you some Taco Bell and, like, lace it with some cocaine so I can get a little more pep out of you. Why don't you just buy me the Taco Bell? I'll be all right with talk, that. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I don't need no I'm not new, Jack. Yeah. So that's, uh, uh, click the link below, sign the petition, JDF versus CF Bunk in the UFC. I'm going to push this thing forever. Yeah. I'm going to push it until, I'm going to push it till CM Punk has his first fight in the UFC. Which they say is pushed back now. Two yeah. years. A couple years, they like, said. Get out of here. Is anybody going to care? His training, yeah, I don't think anyone's going to care. <clears throat> I think it's one of those things that should have happened within six months, but now no one gives crap. Right. As always, I'm your host, Big Brian Adams. Oh, I didn't know you were pointing at me. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry I should have snapped at you. Just kind of. I, I didn't want to almost poke you in the eye like last, last week. Time, yeah, with your finger. So, Junior, we'll see you next week.